how to get wordpress post to page step by step hey guys welcome back a lot of people might not realize that wordpress has changed some of its website editing tools and that includes the navigation menus and how you can insert those navigation menus and customize them to display your particular posts so it can be a hassle to figure that out but i'm going to break it down step by step so you don't have to so let's get into it now, in the past, you used to go into Appearance and you would find the WordPress Navigation Menu Builder. However, that is no longer the case. Now we have a WordPress Website Editor. Now, this is not, you know, the page editor. This is a different type of editor. So if you want to insert pages, you can do it the same old way and I'll show you guys how. But first, let's take a look at how you can insert a specific navigation menu item so i want my wordpress post this is my post which is the best alfredo pasta you will ever make now what i want to do is i want to take this post and i want this to be present within the navigation menu of my wordpress site so to do that you will have to go into appearance and then you're going to click on editor now once you click on editor, this opens up this particular page, which is the WordPress design editor. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on navigation on the top left. In navigation, you will find all of the navigation menu items, and you can click on this search bar icon. Now, you have two options from here. You can go the standard way by clicking on these three dots. You can rename your navigation menu. You can also delete the navigation menu if you don't want it, but we're going to click on edit over here and then you're just going to click on add block now from here you can choose the block you want to add which is the best alfredo pasta you will ever make i just want to insert that now once you have inserted that you can go back in the left section and you will see you have your page list over here you have the about section now i want to remove the page list and then i can just keep the simple you know simple navigation menu you can do that as well However, I do want to insert that, so I will be inserting this into the standard editor. So what I'm going to do is just going into navigation and we will review our change. I'll click on save over here. And what this will do is that this will insert your particular navigation menu item or your blog post item over here. Now, if you want to delete your navigation, you can delete the entire navigation menu that you have. And then what you're going to do is you can build one from scratch. So for that, you will have to go in and what you're going to do is click on select over here. And once you click on select, you can go on ahead and proceed to edit your particular menu. Now, once you have completed your edits, we can go back into the WordPress dashboard and if you're still looking to make further edits into the navigation menu, if you still don't like it, you can always revise your it revise the sectioning. Obviously, you can also display categories. You can also display, you know, your blog post categories that you might have, your pages you might have. So if I want that, I can click on over here and I can click on add in my navigation. Now, in my navigation, I have a few options, social icon, search, page list, and let's say that we want to add a link and we can just rename this so you can link it to a page where you can call that page all blog posts and then you can just rename it to blogs over here and then that would lead people to the directory of blogs. So I'll show you guys if I just do a simple blog like this, I can save this as it is like this and now if we go back into our wordpress dashboard we will directly see this blog be linked in our navigation menu it might take a couple of seconds for this to be synced up now if you want the alternate method so if you want a page to be displayed which displays your particular blog post to do that click on pages on the left panel and then click on add new page once you add a new page, you're going to section out your new page or, you know, whatever you want to do. It's going to be blogs. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for blogs in my item. And we can embed our particular blog, but I'm just going to search for blogs over here. And I want my blog post with a left sidebar. I'm just going to insert that over here. 
and then once i've done that i'm going to click on publish over here now once this has been published i want this blogs to be displayed in my navigation menu so this is not a particular blog post instead this is an entire page to do that i'll follow the same procedure so going back into our dashboard of wordpress this is what the site currently looks like as you guys can see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on edit site not edit page edit site we're editing you know the site uh, and this is especially important that you're editing the site not the page because this would be applied throughout the website so from here you're going to go back and in your design section click on navigation you have the page list over here and then you can just move it up and down you know however you want to customize that but we are going to click on the navigation and then edit that and then click on add link and then we're going to display the blogs page over here and then you can also rename it if you want, but I'm going to keep it as blogs. And then I will rename into pasta like this. Now, once you have completed your basic edits, I'm going to remove this empty page. Let's say I don't want to display maybe the podcasts page, so I can delete that as well. We can click on edit, detach, and then we're just going to click on delete over here going to delete the sample page and then we can take the rest of these together and you have a few different options you can select a parent block in your navigation you can copy these you can copy the styles as well but you can also add these to a sub menu i don't need a sub menu so i can leave it as it is and you can just click on save on the top right and now your blog posts or your wordpress posts will be displayed in the form of a page in the navigation menu so i hope you guys understood how it differs whether you're linking a entire blog post or if you're linking your particular blog post page now these changes might take a little bit of time to be published so make sure to save these changes and then go into the website editor and then you can click on edit page to edit the rest of your page however you want you can customize the pages with anything you want and if you go into your page editor you're not going to find any editors for the headers or footers that's because you're meant to do that in the site editors instead of page editors so I hope you guys understood this video and you are now able to insert your WordPress posts into the navigation menus or into pages and then insert those pages into the navigation menu on WordPress. It's really simple. Before the update, it was just a little different and now it's just a little bit different from before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.